just like your life. Yes, just like my life. Yo, shout out wifey in the cut, wow. man. Yo, give yes. your wifey a shout out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he said... That guy riding the cut. Hush music party. Rum and Coke Radio. Best break dancer in the world. <laughs> best. Best break dancer in the world. And now we're talking about the best break dancers that were in the world, the Olympics. <laughs> she said she was horrendous. I said it was amazing. She wants to, she wants to take it back. Oh. She wants to. Not I horrendous. okay. Horrendous, horrendous, I guess, is a very um, old, very strong, could be mean, mean word. So we won't use that one, but I will say it was very, 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 very painful to watch. Um, But it seems like you have a different. It was different, right? I have have something for, for, for that, for whatever everyone almost has. A, 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 a opinion about it. The same but one. That's okay. The same strong opinion. Yeah. It was wiggity whack. You, that's yours. Crisscrossing it. Okay. Dating myself. I think <laughs> being in the scene, there's always difference. It's like being in the scene, immersed in it, and knowing the, the, the factors mm-hmm. of how you get judged as a B girl or a B boy. <laughs> It's horrendous to watch, yes, because we're not a regular person that has not partake, like, been a part of the community, mm-hmm. is not used to seeing that, what she showed there. Because what we're used to is the 1984 breaking, mm-hmm. like that stuff. And the spinny. Big spins, yeah. The spins and all that. That's what we're familiar with. Mm-hmm. Who, is the, who is the champion? Who was the champion? From here. From What's his Vancouver. name? Vancouver. What's his name Phil. again? Phil. He's Phil. Korean. Yeah. But what's wizard. his uh, wizard? That's yeah. it. Phil. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, bro. Shout out yes, to you. Yes, but shout out Bringing to Bringing home the gold. Who yeah. brought home the gold. Thank you. From Vancouver. Let's give a shout. Let's uh, let's uh, give a dub to Canada. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go. Putting us on the map. Especially with the first time doing that at the Olympics. Yeah. That's the first time. We get to time. take that. So. Yeah. But he has also performed, I believe, his crew, which is like a, a few homies of mine, have performed in 2010 Olympics. A few oh, homies okay. of yours, by the way. That's Small flex. Where, Light flex. That's where kind of this idea kind of stemmed from. We, that when, I guess, not the world, maybe the committee was like, yo, that's... That could be something to be put on Olympics. I think that's where it started, like mm-hmm. the idea of putting in. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I was in Calgary in 2010 Olympics, uh, <laughs> <laughs> doing workshops. Crazy. Uh, Were you really? I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Break dancing workshops. No, 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 no. hip hop dance. Hip hop dance workshops. So you put a little bounce in your. Bounce yeah. In your step? You know what I Not like Dana. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dina. Look at my feet. My feet are straight ahead. You don't want to do that. You want to turn your feet out, and I'm going to do this backwards, and that's what makes it look like hip hop. <laughs> do not ever do that again. Please With don't the, do that again. Do a little hip hop. You know what I think is happening? Um, well, this is kind of briefly a conversation that we've been having in the shop. I personally feel that the Olympics, people aren't tapped in as much as they used to be. Yeah. So now they're trying to just throw whatever people may be into or that could have some sort of like- To enjoy it again? To Not even to enjoy it, but to get the younger generation and, somehow involved, yeah, involved. Because I'm like, ain't no way you guys put the, Put break dancing on the as a like I get yeah, it, yeah. but I just an olymp I don't know, maybe I'm being so an someone asshole asked for me about, someone in the community asked me, what what do you feel about you know put break dancing being in the Olympics? I, I had two sides. I said cool, because finally the world's going to see this. Yeah. But I also said I don't think the world is ready to see it. Oh you you didn't think so? I don't think so. Because yeah. the real grittiness of the culture itself yeah. Yeah. is in battles 
where you're not seeing a lot of it. Yeah, you're not supposed to really exactly. be seeing yeah. this. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of why, to me, like I get what your point was when you're yeah. just saying, okay, with this breakdown, like this female from Australia, yeah. but I'm just like, if we really, it's almost like, sorry, but I feel like it's almost a little bit insulting, you know, in a way, <laughs> like it's a little bit insulting because you if you're going Australia. to, because if you're like, and I get it there, but like, Break dancing isn't the one to like, you know, there's so much more to it. So to like maybe embrace it for sure. Say that you're gonna, but I'm just like, no, nah, like, <laughs> she it, wasn't no, it. like she it, was it not wasn't. It. And just seeing like where it originated or just like even African culture being brought into that. And then the people, and then there's the history and then there's the hip hop and there's the, like all of that. I definitely don't feel that she. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a lot of things uh, a lot of things she should have not been fucking anybody but her well, she was really and moving then some shaking of the, a tail some feather. of the commentary i definitely need to send this to you but like one guy he's like so imagine you from australia and you done lied on your olympics application and said that you know how to break dance you seen some old 80s highlights and said i could do that now you on the world stage with a golf outfit on, hyping yourself up in your head, talking about toe tap, toe tap, hitting with spin, climbing in a circle, hands on my chin. Bunny rabbit kangaroo, one of those two. I got moves, so what you gonna do? I'm a worm, y'all. Anyways, I feel so bad. And then someone's like, who did it better? And then there's her like on the ground. And then there's like a cat rolling around. In the oh my and, God. Like, this, she's being honestly poor her. I think it's still the same problem as what we had before that people didn't really look at it as an art form of dance at some point. Mm -hmm. Right? We're, we're, we're still at that. That's a very fair statement yeah. for me. Yeah. Okay. We're still at that point that it's like, uh. do you like, it's like DJing. It's like my mom will never say yes that it is a real job <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah. it's like yeah, yeah, go get so. a real job i'm like mom i just paid for our dinner <laughs> like <laughs> it is a job mom, <laughs> I just, we just paid for our dinner <laughs> you, know, you know what i mean it's like it's like at the end of the day like that. when i used to dance i you know i just a little back back thing when i used to dance i didn't really focus on school i just dance mm. I wanted to quickly talk about your big day coming. What's what, what, what? Did you get married or something? <laughs> so since since <laughs> you've been since you've been gone, <laughs> <laughs> he got on one knee yeah, for, for the real. first time. Hey, he is in love. Time in love. my shoe. Love. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real, congratulations, Let's talk bro. about Shout it. Shout out to you and your beautiful Yay. baby. For real. Talk about it. It was, it was, it you was. finally fun. found the one. Yeah, and, and, and the most yeah. odd, the odd part of it, or the weird part of it, I wouldn't say weird, in a way. It happened during COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. First of all, where'd you guys meet? <laughs> <laughs> was it well, online? So the funny thing is, she has always been around our parties. Mm. We just never cross paths because either I'm wasted <laughs> or I'm mm. doing something else. <laughs> or doing something else. Yes. <laughs> That's one of the, we never cross paths. She's actually like knows people and 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 kind of connected with you know, the homies, like mm -hmm. Flo and all of them. Mm -hmm. Which we just never did until the very last hush before we shut down again. I think as we open up and mm -hmm. then we throw a party and then we shut down again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that yeah. awkward moment. The weird part of- Where it was like, yeah, you guys are allowed to be outside. Ooh, just yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, you could do it with the QR code. Mm, mm, nah. Can't do that. <laughs> oh, but as long as you got your masks, uh, yeah. no. so you, like, guess, you still gotta stand six feet apart. Yeah, like, it's it happened. It happened there. So it's like it's weird. Awful. I was DJing. I see. I see someone sitting. Uh, this was actually a kiss and tell before it was lazy. Lazy. Mm -hmm. I was like someone with like gold white braids, and I was wasted out of my mind. 
was the thing. That's all I can see. Ooh, you remember the gold white braid? The gold yeah. white braid. The gold white braid. And then, and then I see her braids. best friend had fully tatted. Mm. Maddie, okay. which is Greg's, you know, mm-hmm. so great, his girl, uh, girlfriend. And I was like, cool tats. Because she was like full, full tats. Mm. I'm like, no. And then we were talking about tats and she, she was there. But we weren't having a conversation yet until, uh, yeah, so a few days after that, yeah, I went yeah. on Bumble. Hey. So laying there, I'm like, oh, yeah, do, do, do. And with Bumble, you can hey, match girl. with anyone, but the girl has to message you first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She messaged me. She's like, hey, I, don't I like, know you. I don't like Bumble. And I was like, what? <laughs> you can't even go to a lot of places yet around that time when we hung out. Yeah, so yeah. she'll come over and she will tell you this. I was, I, apparently I said, uh, hand sanitizer right there, please. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandy and my couch, you guys have been to my house. My yeah, yeah. couch is like just one long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were sitting end to end. <laughs> on the opposite side. We on the opposite side. <laughs> Just enjoying each other. Six feet away. Oh my gosh. That's what dating in the pandemic had people do. Yeah. Oh, he good, said, bro. hit the sand, bitch, <laughs> on the way in, double time, and sit on and the sit other there. side of the sit couch. And have you cough? Get out. Get out. <laughs> Because we don't know, like around that time, we just like we just you know, true, just true, kind of like a thing, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. True, true. And then, and then we finally opened up, and then we started talking more and more and more until like, you know, don't talk put a ring on it. I happen, and it's one of those things that you know it's like oh take a few you can take a few more years you know know her and everything it's like no for a guy when you know you know they say that when you know you know it's it's not okay how do i know what is it what is the one thing that deep within your soul that made you be like oh yeah i have to put a ring on it because it's this one time we went out i believe it's halloween Mm -hmm. and and we had fun great time we all went back to my place and one of her friends accidentally threw up on my couch Mm. and i was so drunk that i flipped and she's never seen me like that Mm. ever the next few days she was quiet i said hey what's up she's like i was really scared to see you like that and to that point i said okay I have to change something. Mm. So she's, I would say 75% of the reason why I quit drinking. Mm. Oh my God, am I crying? That's it. it, That's when you know that when you when when you want to be when you want to change for somebody. Yeah. When 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 what you did affected them so much that that I have to fully be a different person for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I I told I told her that, and 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 also sitting there thinking about how all of the past shit that I've done. When it went sideways, what, what is, is the reason why? Mm. Liquor. Mm. If you're drunk, I'm blackout drunk. I've destroyed so much stuff. I, it's it's it, everything has had something to do. You don't want to destroy anything else anymore. That's, That's what, what I, I said. said. I said I'm coming into a new relationship, and I don't. I want this to work. It needs to change. Just something like your life. needs to change. Just, just like, like your life. life. Yes, just like my life. Yo, shout out, wifey. Yo, give me a shout out, bro. Hey, boo. <laughs> he said, hey, boo. And that's what it is. And the same thing. When when I asked their parents, when I took them out, I've been planning it for months, and I took them out, and I said, I told them everything. They're very old school. They don't know I smoke, and they don't know I drink. They didn't know all of this. I told them. I said, I used to drink a lot. I was a drunk. I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes and like it's, I told all like everything that I and I said I'm coming to you now because I'm going to do this mm. and they said yeah her mom is crying <laughs> you know, so I, no. I was like don't <laughs> you're gonna do it to holiday right now yeah. and, and it was it was just, yeah. Yeah. Yo, anyways on that note we gotta end the show right now <laughs> 
that was that, that was it. I mean, wedding wise, we don't know. I mean, we aim for next year. That's, mm-hmm. that, that was, you know, but there's next so year. many things that are. There's no changing. rush. There's no rush. There's no rush. There's no rush. You guys feel, are together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like for me, I know that I, if everybody, if everybody knows this holiday, they know mm-hmm. that there's two things that I talk about is like being a mom one day and being somebody's wife. But. I'll take a kid tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. I will literally take You're a child. You're jumping on the kid. Okay. okay. I want to be a mom. Okay. okay. Anyways, we don't need to talk about me. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I think that a lot of people, a lot of women nowadays, put pressure on men, and they'll be in a relationship for however long, and they'll be like. Oh well, should he be doing has this. Put a, like ah, it's been seven years and he hasn't like we haven't gotten married or whatever. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna leave him. And I think for me, like as long as I know, like even if you were to like propose to me, like we wouldn't even need a wedding. You know what I mean? Like you know what I want a wedding, but we could go ten years, we could go fifteen years. Like I would rather enjoy life knowing that you have this partner who's locked in let's travel let's do all of the things and experience life with one another instead of spending because weddings aren't cheap like weddings are not cheap i'm hearing some of these weddings like who pays like four hundred thousand dollars for a wedding i know indian Indian people people. thank you like this But like, I don't want anybody going into debt for me to say I do, you know, like, let's go on vacation, like, let's invest in something, you know what I mean? So I think like, that's good for you guys just to say like, we don't have a date. We're just enjoying each other. Yeah. I didn't even plan it out. Okay. So if you could let everybody know, um, first of all, how long have you been DJing? Uh, step in, it's almost 12, 13 years. 13 years. Ish. Okay, okay. Yeah. And still super active. Very. Um, this summer we have had lots of things going on. This Friday, where are we at? We are, oh, this weekend actually. This we weekend, are we've got going, lots going on. Uh, Thursday, I'm at Pawn Shop this Thursday from okay. 8 o'clock till 12 and then we go fly out to toronto on friday Woo, who's we as hush music party we Sick. are going to be playing in toronto for the weekend so friday i will be at barcada uh down on queen Fire. in the dot yeah there, and then and then saturday a bunch of the homies yeah we're, we're, we're all playing there until about sunday and then saturday i'm here at belmont uh, down, uh sorry not belmont the living room downstairs uh, at the Hotel Belmont uh, from 9 p.m. till 2. And then Sunday, I uh, rotate a jungle room as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that's where I'm going to be. 